Hey, what's up guys? This is Dr. Saturn and welcome back to Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. This one, we'll be taking on Aquaria Towers. So let's go. Uh, and if I sound a little bit different, well, I just had a nice dinner. Wow, these guys are real, real jerks. Yeah, as you can see, these are water workers, which we have. Oh boy. The funny looking guy. Uh, which we have seen in the in the previous level, Sunny Beach. Yeah, welcome to the kingdom of the seahorses, which are the NPCs in this level. The funny looking guys with the shock sticks have drained all our water. We can't get it back unless someone activates the switches they're guarding. Mm. Uh, do we really want to fill this whole level with water? I mean, we all know that water levels in video games are... The shock stick. The shock stick guys are tough. Yesterday they turned Vern, our giant squid, into fried calamari. His name is Vern, which is an obvious reference to Julius Vern, the author of 20,000 Miles Under the Sea. If you don't know the novel, then shame on you, get educated. Uh, just like that. Oh, <laughs> I really didn't mean to uh, press the button, but we did anyway. And now that I think about it, I kind of regret that because... Um, these guys are gonna get really annoying. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Oof, yeah, sorry. <laughs> you know, when you when you eat dinner and then you immediately record. Not the best, not the best mix if you ask me. Yeah, as you can see, he is happy now. Now this level, okay, this level might be under an underwater level, but I like it. I actually like it. And Wow, such a shame I can't say the same thing about uh, the Reignited Trilogy version of this level, which is just... Uh, really? Ow, dude. Yeah, they made the, the Aquaria Towers in the Reignited Trilogy so dark, I cannot see anything. And that makes much hunting for the skill point just a little bit more extra annoying and the skill point in this level is just you see these uh, calps uh, yeah we have to flame all of them using super fire oops a uh, bit of a spoiler here the power up of this level is uh, the super fire the super breath but yeah, this is really annoying and I don't think I'm gonna attempt the skill point right now. <clears throat> Maybe sometime later when we eventually uh, come back to these levels to finish them all 100%. Here we have a little like a cavern with an undestructible metal crate and undestructible metal sharks. Yeah, this level is a bit infamous in the Spyro community because these metal sharks are absolutely terrifying. I mean, are they? I've never really, I was never really scared of sharks in video games. <clears throat> yeah, but these crabs are definitely terrifying. Ah, excuse me. Yeah, so obviously we cannot do anything about those metal sharks yet. So let's let's continue. The fodder in this level is really funny. You basically have these. Oh, I I keep saying basically. You have these sheep that were. Um, was there? 
Oh, so this was the, the way in, actually. <clears throat> the fodder in this level are sheep wearing helmets. Now, this doesn't really make sense on the surface, but yeah, it's actually really funny when underwater. And the, the, the goal of this level is to fill it, up, fill it with water and save the seahorses. Um, come on, crab. Cooperate! Nice. Oof. So, oh, we have uh, nice. another encounter with money bags. I just wanted to say, uh, how was your November? Because November has started where, when this video will get uploaded. Hi Spyro, you must be tougher than you look to get here. All the same, you won't be able to get past the metal sharks up ahead. Well, he's right. We cannot uh, do anything about those sharks yet. I suppose I could let you borrow my submarine though, for a modest fee, of course. You have a submarine? Why is it news to me? Suit yourself, just don't go swimming through the tunnel. Those metal sharks are quite indestructible. Mm. Yeah, all, he, all he's saying is the truth. Yeah, it's a deal. A pleasure doing business with you, Spyro. This submarine is 100% shark-proof, I guarantee it. Well, despite being really greedy, he's not a liar. This submarine is actually shark-proof and will get us to the other side safely. But as you can see, we have a lot of jars here and indestructible metal boxes. Which basically means that we will have to come back there. Why are you killing your own friend? <clears throat> uh, yeah. So let's enjoy the scenery while it is all dry and fill it up with water to completely ruin it. At least for me, not for the seahorses. For me, and for all of us. Yeah, you can always use the submarine to get to the other side. But you'll find out in a moment that it won't, won't really be that necessary when we eventually get the super flame power up. Oh, it's alive. Nice. Yeah, we have 17. We could have 18 if the stupid duck in the in the previous level didn't kill me our world is uh, Spyro what are you looking at our world is wet again we all want you to have this talisman of Aquaria towers to remember us by the talisman is a conch shell and the level is over yeah it's it's really not that difficult. But yeah, it's still we're still not done with uh, whatever this level has in store for us. Here we have, well, we immediately unlocked the super breath, and we're gonna put it to use. Um, not sure. Actually, you know what? We might actually uh, attempt the skill point because it's really nothing difficult. We don't have to do this all like. First try. Yeah, here I'm gonna demonstrate how the supercharge, I mean, not supercharge, the super fire works on the metal sharks. Yeah, it destroys them in seconds. And even the undestructible crates are no match for the super breath. But yeah, it doesn't last very long, so. I mean, you, can, you, you always need to have a downside, don't you? No, uh, this level is a bit of a maze. I don't really remember uh, where to go sometimes. And yeah, as I said in the Reignited Trilogy, it's even worse because the lighting in this level is just awful. Um, not there. Hmm. Uh, 
Uh, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, as you can see, these metal sharks are insta-kill. So you definitely do not want to... Uh, well, cross paths with them. And we have some more gems here. There is a... A section upstairs, which I'm... I mean, I'm not really trying to find it. Wait a second. Hop aboard. Hop aboard, Spyro. Yeah, we did pay for this. Yeah, but we still have to talk to him if we want to... Um, excuse me. If we want to... Use the submarine again. I think, at least. Uh, wait. Wait a minute. I'm... Uh, here it is. Here's the... Should we do it now? Or save it for later? Actually, let's do it um, now. Let's grab the uh, Super Breath because there are some... There is some kelp here, which I want to torch. Oh boy, this is gonna be pretty <laughs> annoying. But yeah, um, as far as the, uh, the the regular level goes, it's pre it's a pretty okay level. I don't mind it. I know a lot of people have a grudge against uh, the the underwater levels, but I I think this one is pretty okay. It's oh jeez, it's harmless. Mm, there's Hunter with his stupid side quests. And I don't really want to... Oh, a magenta gem. A very rare one. Okay, you know what? Actually, let's just focus on the gems first, and then we can worry about the side quests. And the skill point, which, again, if I don't do it, so be it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Sparks. <laughs> it's always good to have a slave. You know what I'm saying? Uh, where's the way down? Uh, yeah, let's... Torch. Another set of kelp. With really weird hitboxes. The music is also very nice. It's it's an it's an iconic track. <clears throat> there are some gems here. Oh yeah, our search for more kelp begins now. Mm, yeah. I don't know why I'm uh, really... Oh, yeah, I, I guess we can... Damn. I guess we can, like, take our time. Oh, we're here. We're back. Oh, this is just here again. Hmm... <laughs> Hope you excuse the lack of commentary, but I'm just trying to... I already said it, but I'm trying to concentrate. This is a very confusing level. Aquaria Towers, more like Aquaria Mazes. <sighs> no, I don't really care for this. I just want to get rid of these sharks! Yeah, these these guys are really dangerous and our life counts just melt like ice on the sun. <clears throat> Which really sucks. But come on, we haven't been collecting all these lives for nothing. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, come on. This is gonna be a long, long episode. Just a real, real shame. 
At least I like how the level looks and I like the music here. Otherwise, I would be much more critical about those metal sharks. So yeah, you gotta obviously keep a safe distance. Let's just break this. Destroy some more of these. Alright, nice. We have some more kelp from the skill point. We missed one here. Yeah, it's still not a skill point. Yeah, no metal sharks. They do not dis despawn. They do... Uh, I mean, they do not respawn, what I'm trying to say. So you shouldn't worry about them that much. Here we have collected every gem. And we're on the 16th minute mark, so that's nice. All I want to do now is find the last piece of kelp, which I don't know where it is. Oh, they do respawn sometimes. I, I, don't, I, guys, I really don't know how that works. I'm just here to play the game and comment on it. Hmm. All right. Let's get this over with. Obviously, we got the, the the metal box. Hey, Sparks, you're getting in the way. Okay, and I think this is the last kelp. Yep, the skill point is ours, baby. All right, all there is left to do now is to go on the... Go upstairs and do some side quests. Haven't collected a single orb, but don't worry, all of them are in this one specific place I'm looking for. Uh, um, um, excuse me. We do not need your uh, submarine anymore. We got rid of the sharks. So yeah, let's uh, hurry it up and find the way the way up. Which is exactly in the main room, the, the one in which you start in, and the the skybox is kind of weird, actually. I don't know why. Let's just do the hunter one first. I've been trying to tame my. Uh, I don't know what Spyro was doing. I guess he's feeling a bit kinky today. I've been trying to tame my new pet manta ray, but he just won't obey me. Hey, you're just about the right size to ride on his back. Uh, ready to tame the manta ray? You bet. Great, hop on his back and guide him through each of the rings of bubbles as it appears. And remember, he's brand new, so try not to get him dented or scratched up. This is pretty much a very easy version of Superman 64. So yeah, shoutouts to uh, flying through rings. Gotta be my least favorite gender, for real, for real. But yeah, this thing controls like like a wonder. And obviously, well this wasn't anything difficult. Well done, I suppose I owe you something for that. Here, take this orb, I found it in one of my flippers. Yeah, this guy is supposed to be helping us, yet he still locks the orbs behind the most stupid side quest imaginable. Now that the Manta Ray is tamed, I'd love to get him into a racing shape. Care to take him through a harder course? Of course. Uh, good luck. I'm gonna need it. Because this one is actually uh, obviously more tricky than the, the previous one. Oh yeah, and this is... This isn't the last time we're flying through rigs in this game. Uh, so yeah, get ready for some ring hijinks. Obviously, if you miss one ring, you will get you will start all the way from the beginning. And where are those bubble rings coming from? He's, he's, he's farting them out. Incredible, you've got real talent. I could use a partner like you. You can have the orb I found in my other flipper too. Guys, I swear, this is the villain of the of the entire series. He refuses to help us gather orbs. He hides them in flippers. 
Sorry, pal. Sorry, pal. I don't have any new jobs for you at the moment. Oh, jeez. I do not want any jobs from you, idiot. And the last orb. Uh, we get... Is we get it by talking to King Flippy. The water workers, yeah, as you can see, they're, they're pretty much the same species as in Sunny Beach. The water workers have kidnapped six of my children and hidden them in the tops of these numbered towers. I borrowed some explosives to blast the doors of the towers. Now this. Uh, if you can make it to the. If you can make it to the top of the six numbered towers, my children will be safe. This is nothing. This is a uh, difficulty four out of five. There is nothing difficult about this, other than well, if you don't know the 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 stage, then uh, it's gonna be a little tricky for you. It starts off pretty harmlessly, as you can see. Yeah, the number towers. We start off with number one. Here we see that number two is just around the corner. And yeah, don't worry, it doesn't get any more boring because we have some electric fields to entertain us. Uh, the number three is in the first and last chamber of the level. And this is exactly where we're heading. And it's pretty... It's, and it's here. And as you can see, yeah, uh, the num the number four tower is just behind the number three so we're not gonna be and it's not gonna take long to find another one uh, I think I'm gonna spare you um, why am I trying so hard to kill this innocent crap all right never mind I already have everything I don't Actually, I, I, it seems like I need to kill these crabs to be fully satisfied. Oh my god! <gasps> what a... what a dick! Alright, finally, we did it. Yeah, and I think this isn't the... um... ouch. Okay, okay, okay. It's going okay so far. Except for that one crap situation. Yeah, and on our way down, pretty much, the electric fields are being disabled. I don't remember what the, where the fifth one is, so I'm just gonna like wander around. <clears throat> Jeez. So yeah, as I said, November. Uh, did, you did you guys have a good Halloween? Because I mm, did not. I I don't. I haven't been celebrating Halloween for like ten years now. Okay, I I still respect it as a like, I don't know if I don't know if I should call it a holy day. It's, it's like a fun day. Uh, here's number five. I got it from the sound of the electric fields. And the oh man, the crabs just oh rest in peace, Sparks. I think we're gonna die if we don't get a fodder immediately. Then I don't see why we shouldn't like die now. Um, I think the sixth one and the final one is located in the little green chamber. Uh, somewhere near the end of the of the level. Yeah, I don't mind swimming in this game, but resurfacing, man, it's really annoying sometimes. <clears throat> yeah, this is exactly the um, the place I was talking about, and we don't have sparks. Hmm, should we? Of course we should, because we're so hardcore, and this is actually actually. Really, I, I wanted to say it's really easy, just as I die. Um, I hope that. Um, 
Do I have to do this all over again? Please say it isn't so. Every time you make Every time you make it to the top of the tower. If you can make it to Um I think Oh, uh, hang on. No, actually no. We don't we don't have to do this. Uh, from the very beginning, thank god, my goodness. This game is really generous, and that's why I think it's... And that's exactly why this game is comfy. Or... Um... Man, do I have to actually know? Uh, where do I go? Oh, uh, right. So we're starting off from the third one. Oh boy. Then oh boy. Okay, I'm I think I'm gonna cut now. And I'll see you guys uh, in the sixth tower. So yeah. Uh, peace out, I'll be right back. Okay guys, uh, we're back. Uh, here we have the sixth tower and I cannot can I oh jeez. Ah oh, well no biggie. Alright. Let's just get this done. You did it! You did it! Now we can swim in peace. I heard that you, you are co collecting these orbs. Please take this one. And just like that, we have finished uh, Aquaria Towers 100%. So that's nice. Now, uh, when I was uh, just doing these towers all over again, it took me like two either one or two minutes to, to get back on track uh, which which is really a shame because meh. that that means that um excuse me oh wow i can't i can exit the level are you kidding me no why um i don't know what happened but I can't leave the can't leave the the level for some reason. Um, excuse me. Hello. Am I missing something? Wow, this this uh, this level loves me so much that it just won't let me leave. Let me leave. Finally, jeez. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry about this really awkward uh, ending of the epi of the episode. But mm, I just really don't know what happened. Uh, well done, Spyro. Now that you have six talismans, this door will open. Okay, Spyro, jump through that hole in the floor to get out in Crush's dungeon. Uh, I'll help you by tossing sheep through the hole if I can catch them. Good luck. If we fall through this hole, this is basically the boss of the Summer Forest. We're not going going to do uh, the boss in the next episode. Instead, uh, we're gonna um, gonna head to Ocean Speedway, which we unlocked in the previous episode. Uh, yeah, so this is gonna be pretty exciting. All right. Mm. Where is it? It's here. Alright, Ocean Speedway. The next episode, we'll be taking on our first Speedway in the series. I mean, it's not really the first Speedway in the series, because the Speedways already appeared in Spyro 1. But it's the first one in this playthrough, I guess. Yeah, this has been Dr. Saturn. Next episode, we'll be taking on Ocean Speedway. And I'll see you guys uh, then. So yeah, see ya.